Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. I think what I'm going to do in this video is kill two birds with one stone. I'm going to be talking about this knife and my white smoothbone collection. And I'm also going to be talking about the definition of what is a clasp knife, C-L-A-S-P. Because this is a clasp knife. Uh, it's made by Rough Rider. And uh, essentially, a clasp knife is any large folding slip joint knife. And by large, we mean big, really big. Uh, in this case, this knife is, when folded, almost six inches long, five and three quarter inches long folded. So, as you can tell, it's obviously a pretty big knife. When you open it up, it is just shy of 10 inches. Uh, yeah, just shy of 10 inches long. So, as you can tell, a pretty big knife. The blade length on this is... Uh, four and a quarter inches long with a cutting edge that is about four inches long. So as you can tell, a really big knife. Uh, in Rough Riders line, this is known as the Deer Slayer, but it's also listed as also a clasp knife. Um, and like I mentioned, a clasp knife just really means a really big knife. But in America, this is usually what you think of when you hear the term clasp knife. Uh, however, in other countries, specifically in England, that's not the case. So let's talk about what other people also look at and think of as a clasp knife. What we have here is a big old Marlin spike knife. This one is uh, from around the period of World War I. And this is the type of knife that the uh, British and Commonwealth forces were using in the trenches of World War I. I know it's uh, got a big marlin spike on the end, but uh, you got to remember that uh, the United Kingdom was a maritime uh, nation, and so marlin spikes were used quite a bit. Not to mention, even though you were in the trenches, you still did a lot of rope work and everything, and that's why the marlin spike was on there. Uh, and what we normally refer to these knives as is marlin spike knives. And as you can tell, it's a big knife. It's almost five inches long close. It's got a, you always think of them having a uh, sheep foot blade. But as you can tell, this one has a spear blade. And early on, most of these type knives had a spear blade. And then one of the old fashioned can openers on it. Um, and like I said, this one is made by uh, Camillas, but it is the same as numerous other knives made from Sheffield companies in, um, in England at the time of World War I. And this was the pattern used by the British military and the Commonwealth forces. And it was not called a Marlin spike knife. This was known as a three-piece clasp knife because it has three tools on it. You've got your Marlin spike, your can opener and a main blade. And so the British referred to this as a three-piece clasp knife. And when it shrunk, uh, by World War II time, it was much smaller, as you see. Now the knife is only about three and a half inches long. And uh, same, and the blades have changed. And now you do have a sheep foot blade for the uh, main blade, a different style can opener, but you still have the marlin spike on the back. And this is also known as a three-piece clasp knife, um, uh, according to the Ministry of Defense in the United Kingdom. So for um, the United Kingdom, a clasp knife basically is their term for a slip joint knife. And that's really what it is, regardless of size. But in the United States, clasp knife usually means a large knife. And by large, um, usually in the five inch or more range. Like I said now before, this one was known as the Deer Slayer. I believe that term was actually first used by Case. And it's a very typical uh, pattern of clasp knife. Uh, and several companies have made this style of clasp knife. And what you have with it is a wonderful powder horn frame. Um, and you've got uh, a, a grip here that fits your hand really well. And so this knife is obviously used for um, outdoor work, uh, basically a big folding camp knife, you know, and it would be suitable for just about any other chore that you would use for a camp knife. I mean, here is a camp knife. Let's see if we can get them both in the same picture. 
Um, you know, this is a eight and a half or a nine inch camp knife with a four inch blade. And now you have the uh, folding uh, clasp knife above it. And you see the blade is just as big, if not bigger. So you could do just about anything that you would do with any other camp knife with this. And the only difference is this one folds instead of goes into a sheath. Um, obviously it's rather, rather large, so it's not gonna fit well in a front pocket. Uh, so you might need to use a scabbard for it, but most likely most people just throw this into a back pocket. I've got a video about back pocket knives too out there somewhere, so you can look for that one too. Um, but this one is really well made. Uh, they still used in the blade, like almost every Rough Rider knife, is a 440 uh, stainless steel. You can see here it's a relatively thick blade compared to the camp knife here. You see it's a little thinner, but not that uh, thin. It's pretty chunky for a blade, much thicker than what you'll find on like a trapper or something, and obviously a much wider blade than you see on a trapper. Uh, and the handle is big and comfortable for the hand. Uh, you see here, you've got your brass liners, your stainless steel back spring. The handle, the, uh, the handle is held on by uh, four pins and also the main pin that goes through for the uh, back spring. And as it's a powder horn frame, you've got the uh, pointy end down here with the ring nickel silver bolsters. So really just a great knife. And you can tell from all the fingerprints on there, it is mirror polished. So it's a nice shiny blade when you clean it up right. And I'm going to have to get all those uh, fingerprints off before I put it back in the drawer. Otherwise, I can definitely uh, screw up the uh, patina on that mirror polished blade. You notice here the old uh, tested RR Sharp sign from Rough Rider. So this is a very early one of their knives and you see the Rough Rider uh, Tang stamp there is also the script version which was also very early. Just listen to the snap on this thing. Talk about a guillotine when it's closing. Man, it could take off a finger closing. It is a definite uh, strong back spring. And it should be considering how large that blade is, but you heard that snap, it holds in place really well. You gotta really put some pressure on it to close. Uh, it does not have a half stop because it's one of their older knives, but uh, still it's pretty well controlled. Good snap on it. Uh, you've got the, uh, the uh, match striker nail nick there, but you really don't need it because there's so much blade to grab onto, you can just pinch it and pull it open. Just a terrific knife. I, I really like this one. It's, uh, you know, I've got to get more of these. Um, and uh, I think uh, if you're looking for a nice big folding hunter, the uh, Deer Slayer or the Clasp Knife uh, is really a great choice. Obviously, it's a big heavy knife, so it's not something that's going to ride easy in your front pocket. But for just an overall big knife, that you can use for multiple chores when camping and that you can just shove in a pocket. This is a great choice. So if you're not looking for a sheath knife, but you want a big heavy knife, consider the uh, clasp knife or the deer slayer as Rough Rider calls it. Stick around for the uh, slideshow that'll give the specifications on this knife and also a comparison of it compared to a, uh, a standard uh, camp knife and a trapper. We'll start with a size comparison of the uh, Deer Slayer compared to an eight and a half inch fixed blade hunter. And you can see here, even when it's closed, it's uh, quite large. So many people would consider putting this into a, uh, like a belt sheath or dropping it into their back pocket so that uh, for easier carry, obviously the uh, fixed blade would be carried in a sheath. And here we see it with the knife opened and uh, it is substantially larger than the uh, eight and a half inch camp knife. And you have a little bit more cutting edge with the, uh, the Deer Slayer compared to uh, one of the smaller camp knives out there. Camp knives tend to run anywhere between um, eight and a half to about 10 inches long. So uh, you could obviously get a couple camp knives out there with a five or six inch blade also. But uh, I was just using this one for a comparative size. Now, obviously a uh, fixed blade is going to be a little more robust out in the woods than a folding knife especially when that fixed blade has a full tang. So there's major advantages of having a fixed blade. 
However, in some situations, you may not be allowed to carry a fixed blade knife, so a folder would be a better choice. And then there's also the possibility that you would be using something like this uh, Deer Slayer as a backup to your uh, fixed blade. So it's still a secondary knife in that kind of role. One of the things I really do like about the uh, Deer Slayer over the smaller camp knives, like this 8.5 inch variety, is the size of the handle that you get in it because you've got a full 5.5 inch handle on there, which uh, gives you a lot more uh, handle to grip and uh, it just feels better in many ways as opposed to a handle that is about four and a quarter inches long so and i don't have an extremely large hand so i can picture people with a larger hand preferring a knife with a much larger grip than four and an eighth or four and a half inches long and that's where something like the deer slayer's uh five and a half inch handle with a four inch blade comes in handy and here we see a size comparison of the deer slayer compared to a four and an eighth inch standard trapper and as you can tell this deer slayer is just enormous compared to that trapper the blade is so much larger and everything else you're talking about a four and an eighth inch handle with a three and a half inch blade compared to a five and a half inch handle with a four and a quarter inch blade um, but the blade is so much more substantially larger in width and breadth than everything else and the handle is also much bigger and more ergonomic when you're uh, holding it but with that said, you can also see where the trapper might come in more handy on many other chores that would be done when you're out there hiking or camping or something. So I would not consider the Deer Slayer one of those knives that you would have for all your chores out when you're camping or hiking. It's definitely more of that uh, knife that you would use for special chores when you're out there. For a pocket knife, you'd be better off with like a trapper or a stockman or some other smaller uh uh, pocket friendly knife or like a Swiss Army knife or uh, a scout knife or something like that and using the deer slayer in place of a fixed blade or if you're allowed to carry a fixed blade then maybe this would also be a third knife that you would carry uh, along with your fixed blade and your uh, uh, smaller folding pocket knife and so just to wrap things up it's the Rough Rider RR142 deer slayer a type of clasp knife. It is currently out of production, but uh, it does look like a Smoky Mountain Knife Works will bring it back uh, one of these days. It currently is priced at $14.95. As I mentioned, the knife is about five and a half inches long, maybe a little bit more, with a four and a quarter inch blade, and it's just shy of about 10 inches long when you open it all the way up. The blade still is 440A stainless steel. You've got a stainless steel back spring, and then you have that five and a half inch powder horn frame uh, with nickel silver bolsters, white smooth bone handles uh, held on by brass pens, and you also have brass liners on the uh, knife. The blade has a match striker pull, but you really don't need it because a substantial amount of the blade is available, so it's easy to pinch it and pull it open. And uh, I would say that it has that kind of backspring that some people would call a nail breaker, but simply because of the size of the knife, it's really not that difficult to open or close. And in case you missed the message inside the, uh, the video, Case actually listed this knife as the Bulldog, uh, not the Deer Slayer. So I believe it was Schrade who came out with the name Deer Slayer, and now Rough Rider is using the term Deer Slayer. Plus a couple other companies also call this knife a deer slayer. In any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you're a person who uses a large folding knife while camping or hunting, I'd love to uh, hear about what that knife is. And if it's something like a deer slayer, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Um, and as this video is also about the clasp knife in general, if there's some other knife out there that you own that uh, is often referred to as a clasp knife, I'd love to hear about it also. Thanks again for being here for me, and uh, I appreciate any comments or uh, thoughts. And I'm always looking for other opinions on my videos, so please take a look around my channel and uh, feel free to comment on any of the videos and share them with your friends, too. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats, and if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online.
Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.